One time she was there and that's all. Yeah, but when y'all were growing up, did I she know. do a lot of cooking and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, she done some cooking. She would stand in the George Owens house over there. Yeah. On the porch and call out down to the store for clearance. Because he, he was a run it. Uh huh. And dad was a part of it. Yeah. And mother would haul out, holler out down there, said, cut me a roast. And he would cut her a roast. Yeah. And dad hauled the meat off somewhere that they killed over there at the tree at Clarence's house. Yeah. And, and uh, he would haul off the meat. Uh-huh. He would throw an old cow in the back seat of the car and take her all around. Drive grandma all around? Take the cow around. Oh, the cow around. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant to take grandma around. <laughs> no, Grandma Martha. She wasn't. So I know she liked. She liked Pepsi's too. Uh huh. Cause at one time when them mush people that was on the route uh -huh. would come in and turn in their money. Well, Dad would give her the pennies in it. Oh. And she, that's what she kept us good in Pepsi's. So well, that's where I get the Pepsi's from, and you get the Pepsi's. <laughs> Didn't you say she did that one time for your class or something? No. I thought she used those pennies for something with your class one time. Well, uh, Grandma Maud McMiss was one of our great mothers, mm -hmm. and mother was one of the great mothers, and they would give us a party every once in a while. Because mm -hmm. mother did like to party. Did she? Yeah. So she liked to party. She'd do a lot of cooking for parties? Not much. Not much? So who did she get when she started getting sick? Was it after Uncle Sam was born? Or the other two babies? Oh, she was sick when Sam didn't know it, but three pounds was the when he was born. Really? Eileen Connor kept him for about two weeks. Two or three weeks. Wow. So I think Mother got up and she got to be all right for a little while. Yeah. And she got back on the, on pain medicine and, and all that. Yeah. Hmm. I just got thinking about that because we always knew Grandma Doolin, but we never knew her, you know, Grandma Marson, and that's the reason I was like, gosh, I want to hear some stories about her. Because I you know, knew Grandma Doolin real well, good. One, one time, Dad and C. Asbury was cleaning up a new ground over there behind Max. That's, that was, it was blank then, this new ground. Uh-huh. And him and Sierra Bear was down there cleaning it up. And they had, Dad had a tractor. And he had it over there. He hooked that tractor, that, that stump or snag. And pulled it down on him. Ooh. And uh, see, carried him to the hospital. Yeah. Carried him up to the truck, put him in the truck, 
and took him to the hospital. Wow, all the way to Concord? Mm -hmm. Wow. Did he break some bones? No, he didn't break any bones. I don't think. I never knew it if he did. Yeah. I know one time I was chopping stove wood. That's that light wood you cook in the stove. Uh -huh. Put in the cooking stove. And uh, I was chopping stove wood. I was splitting it. And I wasn't doing it right or something. I just threw the axe down and went running off down there and he said, you better come back or you'll be sorry. That was the hardest thing for me to do is come back up there that stove wood pile. <laughs> Did he spank you? No, or he, he just made you, me. he just made you start cutting yeah. again? I think he showed me, showed me how to split it. Oh. That's pretty neat. That's all, all I can remember. Yeah.